What's going on, y'all? Um, I wanted to come to y'all today. I picked up something um, new that I've been kind of wanting to get for a little while and um, couldn't ever find one in stock. And uh, today I just happened to come across a few of them at Bass Pro. And so I went ahead and got one. Um, so without further ado, this is why you clicked on the uh, thing. So this is a Winchester wildcat 22 long rifle um now I've, I've got a couple 10 22s and uh those are great and everything but I, I wanted to get something different something a lot lighter this thing is super lightweight um it comes with a 16 and a half inch barrel it, it's got so many of the things on it that a lot of people do to the 10 22 when they get them now you know me if you watched any of my videos you know I like Ruger and I like Winchesters. So um, I wanted to try this one out. It's got a threaded barrel, so um, I can uh, put, like, you know, put a suppressor on here. Um, so my, my suppressor will bolt right up to there. Um, it's got a nice little peep sight. I don't know if I can get it on here, but it's got a nice peep sight. It already comes with a rail uh, made into the receiver, so that's pretty cool. Um, like I said, it's super lightweight. It actually takes Ruger 1022 magazines, or you can use the the Winchester magazines. Now, the good thing about the Winchester magazines is it does have a bolt stop, uh, which the 1022 magazines do not have. So, and it's a. Uh, I mean, I'm right-handed, but for those of you that are left-handed, um, it is completely ambidextric, so you can pop it out right here or you can use one of these two red levers on the side it pop you know pull them back and they both pop out so um these also have sling swivels built into the stock up here on the front you pop this little piece of plastic off you get an, another rail another picatinny rail right here plus you get another sling swivel so you've got both of your sling swivels already made into the gun which is great um i just put a sling swivel kit on a 1022 for my dad the other day um no problem but you know it's pretty cool that a lot of the features that people like are already uh integrated into this rifle the only complaints i have read on these are the triggers so um, they're not adjustable as far as I know and mine comes in at an average of about five pounds but I've seen them uh, as bad as nine pounds so um, everything from Winchester looks like they say anywhere from three to five pounds was acceptable so um, you know mine I, I've tested mine out a few times and mine averages about five uh, which isn't too terribly bad but it's not the best either so it'd be nice if you could adjust it um if they made this thing with an adjustable trigger it would be just about perfect so um i probably will end up putting a red dot on this so i wanted something um the last 1022 we had gotten was a wooden one and it's just a little heavy for a kid to tote around um now they do make these in a wooden one but this one being uh, being the, the synthetic stock, you know, with, with pretty much everything but the barrel on here being polymer. Um, it's very lightweight. I went ahead and got the camouflage one or, or you know, whatever Winchester calls this, this color here. It's, uh, I was going to get the black one. Everywhere I, everywhere I looked, the black one um, was cheaper uh, at like 229 at the time of this recording. And the the uh the camouflage ones were more so like 279 or 289 or something like that well when i walked in bass pro today this one had a price tag of 229 on it so my son decided he liked the camouflage better so we got it um as we were getting ready to check out after we done all the paperwork and everything they said oh somebody put the wrong price tag on it it should have been um 279 or 289 or whatever but they let me have it for the two 
29 price tag that was on it and you know i got it so i will be shooting this i don't know if this is just going to be a preview video or if by the time you see this i'll have the shooting footage on here also but so here it is winchester wildcat um another great little 22 rifle for you to pick up um, there's some good videos already on here of the Wildcat. Um, so, you know, if you search it, you'll find some good videos if you haven't already watched them. But, uh, yeah, so thanks for watching. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. As always, we appreciate. Um, we just crossed over 60, 67,000 uh, people, um, subscribers. So I appreciate each and every one of you, and we'll keep on making content and uh, as long as y'all keep liking it so thank y'all and for those that haven't subscribed yet please consider it we'd love to have you around and uh yeah hopefully i'll get to shoot this soon and uh i'll either make a new shooting video or and turn this one into just like a preview video or i'll add it to this one if i if i get to shoot it before i uh you know before i upload this video so thank you for watching as always and uh check them out winchester wildcat all right here we are with the winchester wildcat 22 it's got a 16 and a half inch barrel threaded for suppressor got peep sights they take 1022 magazines but this is the Winchester magazine which is just a little bit different Let's see how it shoots Very nice shooting gun. I really wish y'all could see how, just how lightweight this is. Um, I do see my my rear sight is a little bit loose, so I need to tighten that up. But uh, man, shoots great. It's uh definitely a fun gun to shoot. It uh, really compares to the 1022. So uh, I'm gonna get her loaded back up and shoot some more all right i went ahead and put a 10 uh a red dot on the back one of the main reasons i i wanted to uh get this little gun is to have a red dot on it but this is probably not going to be the red dot that i end up keeping on here <clears throat> i just pulled this off another gun um i don't like how high it sits on here so i probably will get a different one but i'm gonna see where it's hitting right right quick Safety off. I mean, it's hitting, it's hitting exactly where I want it to. So I had this mounted on an AR-15 that I, I rarely shoot anymore. So I figured I would uh, put it on here. But... Like I said, I don't know if I'll keep this one on here or get another one. I'd really like to have one that does red and green. But uh, this SIG red dot is a pretty good one. All right, I'm going to get it loaded back up. I do need to uh, <clears throat> get me some of my my uh, 1022 magazines out. Somewhere I have a 25 round or a 50 round uh, 22, 1022 magazine. So... I should probably get that out and shoot it, but I don't have it right at the moment. So I'm going to get it loaded back up, shoot some more. All right, I got the chronograph set up out there, and I'm going to uh, try to see what kind of speeds I'm getting from this 16 and a half inch barrel. This is a mix of different ammo. I just got thrown in an ammo can, so we'll see, we'll see how it does. Let's kind of get you where you can. All right. Oh, 
1151. 1166. 1145. 1164. 1133. 1173. 1183. 1271. 1168. All right. So, uh, Like I said, I was shooting, uh, it's a mix of bullets. I've got some Remington gold tips. I've got some uh, CCIs. I've got some uh, Winchester lead. I've got a variety of thing in there. And uh, so that's why I'm getting such a wide spread in ammo. But look, from a 16 and a half inch barrel, you know, pushing, you know, t over 1200 and some of them, I'll take that. This would be a great little squirrel gun um good snake gun or or just you know you could use this thing for all kind of stuff getting rid of some varmints you know if they're trying to get in your chicken coop or whatever so or you can just get out and plink with it so winchester wildcat so far i'm a fan the trigger is not bad um i don't have i'm not finding it difficult to pull at all I would have liked to seen this trigger be um, adjustable, but it's not, so we'll have to deal with it. Um, I hope that the aftermarket, um, you know, people really take hold of this one and, and uh, make some good stuff for it. But as it is, it's a great shooter right out of the box. I'm glad I was able to pick this one up. I'll load it back up and do just a little bit more shooting. supposed to have a bolt hold open but it's not it doesn't seem to be holding it open on the last round so I'm not sure why man it's hot out here y'all I about have to wait till dark to shoot it's 730 and it's 96 degrees and I feel like it's about a hundred percent humidity so Hope y'all enjoyed this video on the Winchester Wildcat 22 long rifle. Um, if you're thinking about one of these, I wouldn't hesitate to pick it up. I hope that some of you didn't mind that this wasn't a, like, you know, a, a revolver or, you know, a 19th century style firearm, but I do like other firearms too. So, um, let me know what you think. And we'll see you on the next one.